Boys and girls, Alex here. You've probably read the topic, so uh, you know what this is all about. But let me digress for a moment. And if you don't happen to, if you want to actually get into the crux of the video, just FF. And I don't mean that for you people that might get offended. By FF I mean fast forward. Not what my father used to say to me. Anyway, when you want to do a glue up, or not so much glue up, but say clamping for whatever reason, if you've got a small piece, naturally you'd gravitate towards a small clamp. And uh, let's face it, I've got a couple of these. They're, they're El Cheapos and... They are El Cheapos. I bought them, um, I can't remember when, but I initially bought about eight of them. I've got about four left because they've all broken. So, but anyway, forgetting about that. Now, to invest in the real clamps, Bessie's, um, it's nice to have. However, to do small clamps, they're small clamps cost you a fortune, yet uh, the large clamps, while well, you can do your glue up, are, this is not going to be the best demonstration, but as you can see, they're top heavy, they don't sit flat. Alright, they've got their little doovies on there that you can maybe put on to balance out which is a acceptable workaround. There you are, for all it's worth. But still, you've got this top-heavy work. Oh no, it's still, sorry, I take that back. It still doesn't work, and if I go this way, it sits, but if I put any pressure on it, it goes down. So, yeah, anyway, to me, look, that's not an example acceptable alternative. However, I really don't think buying small Bessies, or not these, the K-body type Bessies, is the best option because they are not cheap. I'd probably be better off going for some Irvings. However, the latest version that's come out are these, what they call Vario clamps, whereby we can actually adjust the head. Oh, hang on. Let me get this. Oh, pardon me. I've got this. Still got this dodgy. Damn. Left hand. And all well, I can control both. It's hard to control both. You can bring it in. Slap the thing in the middle. And you've got a perfectly balanced work area. Alright, the in, there is an inconvenience. You've got these bloody long arms sticking out. And if they hang over the bench, by God, they do a uh, nice little job on your midriff if you accidentally walk into them. Because they just can be quite sharp. So, what am I getting at? My, that's my roundabout way of saying that if you're going to get clamps, get big ones, not necessarily small ones. How big do you get? Well, to me, getting the biggest is not necessarily the best, but there are times when you actually need large clamps. And that's when a lot of us fall back onto pipe clamps. And I don't know about you, but I prefer Bessie's to pipe clamps. Anyway, um, one of the things I've just found out, unfortunately I needed because I was just building a cabinet and I needed clamps about, and this is ridiculous, about 150 mil longer than what I had. So I found out about these Bessie extenders. Aha, see, I told you we'd get into the topic sooner or later. And I thought, wow, I like it. I immediately ordered one because that meant I didn't have to go for the, I can't remember how long 
this is this is really sort of like the um, I'll look back at it I can find out if I get a tape measure um, I think the largest clamps Bessie make are 98 inches which is getting close to three meters not quite but because so these are about 1.4 meters that's the length of the rod um, you've got to take off the head which might be about another what six inches or maybe eight inches I don't know but you, you get you, you sort of get the drift I didn't particularly want to get an 85 just for that because for a start you don't buy clamps by ones you buy it by twos well that's a smart way to do it because uh, it's very hard to put the clamp on one side when you're gluing up and then quickly move it to the other side and move it you know what I mean anyway so you buy two and two big ones would cost a lot these were Australian I think 40 something dollars if around let's just say 40 but in Yankee land or Europe and all that it'll probably be a hell of a lot cheaper um, but anyway um, so one of this this video is really not me having used them this is again one of my crazy things of you see what I see the first time if it worked great if it doesn't work well I wasted my money how do they work you just effectively clamp that onto the end of the thing and you've got a long clamp okay now I'll move over here because I haven't got anything to really try it job to try it on and I really haven't got anything super long to do it so I've just grabbed myself this long plank and what I will try and do is see if I can make the clamps extend to the ends and maybe try and exert a bit of pressure and see how they react oh that clamp that plank might be a bit longer than what I wanted all right but anyway in the meantime I can actually use it to set up my clamps and we'll see how much I can span because by god you won't get a Bessie to span that bloody thing okay here I am with two clamps of my choice I've got a few of these large ones I think I can't remember whether it's two or four of those and probably about four of these smaller ones and I've even got a few smaller ones in there however I haven't got oh by the way for all it's worth this is usable on the old style Bessies without these Vario heads you just use the head on one with the handle on the other but bear in mind on one of them this is going to be a fixed head while on this one I can adjust it but I will pretend it's one of the other ones so I can't adjust it um, I'm good at role playing so we'll see anyway the main difference sorry as well with the other ones is that the ones with the Vario heads have these one hole nope. end on them which what the thing fits in while well, this one this old one that I've converted has got the holes where the fixed head was which I've now actually drilled out so I hope that makes sense if it doesn't uh, look at the video again and maybe in the next time it'll no maybe it'll be the same word so I don't know anyway what am I trying to do? Sorry, I, you might have a few breaks in this. Not because I'm trying to cheat or I'm going to have a practice run. It's just that it might be easier to get to the next stage without wasting film. Which is what I will probably do. What I'm going to do is take the handle off one and the head off the other. And then put it into a position whereby I can now put them together. Okay. I've got the head off one and the handle off the other and I've positioned them in such a way that I can put this on. Now I haven't pulled this apart yet as you can see. As I said I like to see you guys see the surprise on my face 
when it works or it doesn't work. Um, and that's it. So, let's try. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. That goes there, and this one slips in here. I did a little bit of chicanery oh, with this one, but I'll mention that later. Let's have a look see of what we have, how well the holes lined up. Well, we'll see when we put the bolt in. Well, that one lined up okay, and that one lined up okay. Holy shit! There is a bit of a play between them, which Um, I don't know. As I say, that can go in there and that one can go in there, which will give you a bit more. I'd rather have them snug up against each other. Uh, well, at the moment, that's my theory. Uh, let's crank that up. I don't know. Hang on, I'll zip off again off camera. I'll zip off and find out what size... Um, this is and come back. I'm back quite pleasant. Um, actually it's a 19 mil ratchet. That's the biggest ratchet of, well, the only ratchet I've got in the set that fits it. I've got a few others but they're all dedicated so damn I should have got a shifter for the other side. Look that's to me is snug enough if you I don't know yeah look I'll get the shifter I was going to say I don't know whether tightening this up super tight should make that much difference but look it might after oh my god leave the camera on you can suffer it sometimes it's better not to have my face on it Oop, hang on shifter how do you use a shifter guy? It's been a while since I've used one of these shifters. Uh, oh, sorry, trying to use that left bloody hand. Oh, good God. Hardly got any extra out of it. Don't know whether it was worth the effort. Of course it was. Okay. Now we've done it. What I am going to do is bugger it. I've got it the wrong way around. Um, oh well look I'll have to move the camera then because I wanted to get the uh, what's happening from the handle end rather than this end and this thing's too bloody long now in fact shit it's as you can see well hang on I'll try and get onto the camera loosen up a few knobs that move as you can see, there's quite a bit of, hang on, let's zoom out, quite a bit of extra length there, and it seems to be matched by the equal length on the other one. So you can see, this is basically made up of my um, longest Bessie plus my next sized one down, So, which basically means I could add another... 300 mil maybe or 200 mil onto the clamping capacity now look that seems yeah i'm, I'm a bit skeptical that seems to move a bit but look we'll just have to see how as you can see it does have that slight amount of movement but we'll see, you know, maybe we won't be able to apply the 1,700 pound force that you, they claim you can. But what I will do is move the, where are we, hang on. Move the head to the end of the plank. Now, bear in mind that this would normally be a fixed, fixed, uh, thing and I only move the head in so I could balance it on the board and still keep that joining 
part in the middle. Now I'm guessing for the best way to do this would be to, well I've got, I was going to say put it on its side. Um, no, I think we'll just have to, oh shit. Hang on, stand it up this way and I will have to go and, uh, hang on, I'll put this on there to keep it off the board a bit. And I'll have to move the camera to the other end. Isn't this exciting? Here we are at the other end, but isn't this exciting? Makes you kind of feel how Columbus did when he discovered America. Because this is the first time, as I said, I've tried this, so I've got no idea how it's going to work. Oh, that doesn't need to be there. That comes down. Oh, hang on, we'll put that under here. That comes down, and voila! Well, we've got some movement. Um, hang on, quick, 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 quick. Pause, I want to get this lift. Oh, bugger it off. Keep it on. Get my lift. Come on, out of the way. Okay, lucky I'm a short ass, I didn't have to lift it as high. Let's see what happens when we apply a bit of pressure. Well, I'm twisting it. Um, that doesn't seem to be moving. Um, well, I don't know. I really don't know what this proves um, other than I can, oh, wrong way, apply white knuckle pressure and that's going to hold. Look, Quid error demonstratum, I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this extended one would be as efficient as a single length one. However, having said that, um, I think that any failure would be more so in just the flex that this full length would provide. And maybe if you look at it the other way, two shorter lengths joined might have less flex, I don't know, I haven't done the physics of it, but might have less flex in than one long length. It's like it's easier to bend something large because you've got more leverage than something small. So maybe two short ones would be more efficient than a full length. Anyway, the main thing is I have managed to span it. I've been able to put in quite significant Thing. In fact, I reckon if I, no, it won't dent it, but uh, um, yeah, look, that's it. Rather than carry on like a bloody pork chop, um, we'll call it a success. Um, if you like it, boys one maybe, um, but the intention I'm really trying to say is, rather than go super big, and super small, buy the Vario Revos, maybe mid-size, so you can cater for both short, and with these extenders, which as I said, $40 Australian, now at $70 conversion to the Yankee Land, you know, you might get away with this for around $25, uh, well actually for probably $25.78, no, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I'm just saying that. Uh, and I think they are. They might be made in America, so I've got to pay shipping. You guys don't have to pay. And I don't mean shipping as in shipping in that respect, but um, import duty, maybe. Anyway, um, that's it. Uru <laughs> and keep safe. As I was packing up... Um, I did notice something that should be of interest. Um, when 
because of the way I said it, I, I, I didn't actually notice, it might have been obvious to you viewers, but I didn't notice that when you've got the clamps set up like that as you would have them oh, set up for glue ups, in other words sitting on their hind short end, this joiner with the red padding actually brings it up parallel or level horizontal with the rest so straight away um, other than the fact I don't know whether how flat that is God, I never want to do this but I always do yeah that's pretty well flat there so yeah you've really got with even with this clamp on you've got a flat surface along this rod to the length of the full rod even with the clamp on which is quite handy or reasonable concept now I'm going to quickly take the battery out of this bloody camera so I won't be tempted to continue crapping on Uru and goodbye this time and keep safe.